Looks like Sammy's class needs a new room, Mother. What happened to Valerie? They caught her making out with a custodian. <laughs> oh, there's a merging of mustaches. Sorry to hold everybody up. I was writing some checks. You were trimming your ear hair. If I take care of my body, it will take care of me. <laughs> All right, we're coming. Jimmy needs to get to the movies early. One time, we were too late to stop for snow caps. He rummaged through my purse and ate on my birth control. <laughs> but Logan owes his very existence to the guy who stole our parking spot that night. Should I bring a jacket? You might as well. The theater's probably going to be cold. Yeah, but sometimes it's not cold, and then I've carried this thing all the way across the parking lot through the mall just to drape it over an empty seat. Well, I think it's worth that risk. And if I don't forget it in the theater, I have to carry it all the way through the mall, back across the parking lot. So don't bring it. I don't know. What is taking so long? I can't decide whether to bring a jacket. Bring it. OK, you're right. that little girl's hair from the movie last night. Which one, the cute one with the curly hair or the demonic one who stabbed her parents? The demonic one. Do you think I should cut Emily's hair like that? I like Emily's hair the way it is. Oh, that little girl's hair was so cute. Yeah, it looked good on her, but I don't think it's gonna look good on Emily. <laughs> and besides, once you cut it, it's gonna take a long time to grow back. Yeah, but it's so much easier to take care of when it's short. I mean, after a three-hour exorcism, they didn't even have to comb it. Morning. Morning. Hey, Christine, do you remember that little girl from the movie last night? Oh, you mean the one that skimped on the butter flavoring? <laughs> no, in the movie. The girl with the bob. I was thinking about cutting Emily's hair like that. What do you think? Don't. Why? Because that girl had, like, a long, skinny face, and Emily's got a nice little round face. It's just not the right look for her. That's a good point. Thanks, Christine. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, thanks from all of us. How do you get her to listen to you like that? Well, she asked for my opinion. Yeah, she asked for mine first. I told her the exact same thing you did, and she completely ignored it. Yeah, well, that's the way marriage is, Greg. <laughs> you think it's any different at my house? Jimmy hasn't listened to me in years. If he did, we wouldn't have invested in 500 rare beanie babies. <laughs> it's crazy. We're married. I'm her husband. She asks me what I think, and I tell her, and she completely ignores it. With you, it's a totally different story. You could get her to do anything that you wanted to. Not anything. She still wears that hideous skirt every once in a while. <laughs> Last night, she asked me if she should be the new room mother at Sammy's school. What'd you tell her? Well, what does it matter? She's not gonna listen anyway, but you could talk her out of it. Well, what's wrong with her being room mother? Oh, she's just gonna be at school all the time, which means I'm gonna have twice as much to do around here. She's gonna be dealing with complaining parents and whiny kids and bossy teachers. I could write this down on a note card for when you talk to her. <laughs> me? No, no, no. I I'm not gonna manipulate my own sister just because you want me to. It would be evil. Well, you manipulated her about the haircut. I gave her my honest opinion, and my honest opinion is that if Kim wants to try to be room mother, then she should try it. Christine. Tell me if you think this is a great idea. I'm thinking we should cement over the backyard. What? That way, I won't ever have to rake, mow, seed, or weed ever again. What do you think? Jimmy, I like our backyard the way it is. I don't want to look out there and see nothing but gray. Oh, well, then we'll paint it green. It's already green. Trust me, it's going to be awesome. You're going to love it when it's done. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah, that's the way marriage is. <laughs> you know, he might listen to someone he's not married to. All right, Satan, where do I sign? Hey, wow. Looks like you're making some real progress back here. Yeah, cement trucks arriving any minute. By Monday morning, I will be erasing mow the lawn off my to-do list and replacing it with relax on cement. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah, yeah, and I'm finally gonna have enough room back here to work on some cars. You know how many junkers I can fit back here? No one's gonna have a better view of your junkyard than me. <laughs> Gotta admit, though, I'm kind of surprised. I always thought you'd be the type that once you bought a house, you'd wanna, you know, have those Thanksgiving football games with the boys back here, you know? 
Yeah, I guess I really never thought about that. Well, I guess we'll just go to the park. No more summer afternoons running through the sprinklers for them, huh? Uh, guess not. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things you can do with the boys on cement. Uh-huh. You know, like hopscotch. <laughs> oh, oh, jacks, jacks. Uh, Those are for girls. Well, I guess you could always roller skate back here. Right, Craig, right, be honest with me. You, you think this is a bad idea? Thanks. So, uh, have you decided about the whole room mother thing? Well, I've been thinking about it, and the truth is, it's gonna be fantastic, Christine. <laughs> I mean, I'll really get to be there with Sammy as he learns, instead of just hearing about it at the dinner table at night. And every night, I'll write down my impressions in a journal, maybe glue in some of Sammy's artwork along the way. <laughs> and then years from now, I'll give it all to him as a gift when he's lucky enough to have a child of his own. <laughs> Kim, that sounds beautiful. <laughs> Time to be room mother. <laughs> yes, you did it. You did it too. We did it. Woo! <laughs> I should have thought of this years ago. I would have never had to take those stupid salsa lessons. And I wouldn't have a duvet cover with a Stanley cup on it. What should we tackle next? Oh, I know what I want. I want my doorbell fixed. It has not worked since the day we moved in. The Chinese food delivery guy got so upset he started bringing a gong. <laughs> Fine. Done. You know what I want? You know all those frilly, cutesy pillows Kim keeps all over the bed? Mm. Make them go away. I can do that. I mean, it takes me five minutes to clear the decks before I even lay down, and then I get up in the middle of the night, I'm tripping over pillows every step of the way. What's with all the pillows? Easy, Seinfeld. I said I'd take care of it. Hey. Hey. What's in there? decided to get rid of all the pillows on the bed. Really? Yeah, Christine and I were looking through this magazine, and she pointed out that all those pillows made the room feel cluttered and claustrophobic. Oh, I'm gonna miss them. Well, too bad, because they're out of here. What's that? That is a little sound I like to call Mommy is smarter than Daddy. Huh? 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 And Greg was going on and on this morning about how I was no good with low-voltage electronics. Well, you showed him, honey. Yeah. Hey, kids, check out what I found in Greg and Kim's trash. <laughs> pillow fight! Forget about the pillow fight. I want to ring the doorbell. <laughs> oh, 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 what's that for, the doorbell? Not just for the doorbell, for this whole idea. Oh, I know. I'd given up on me and my wife having any kind of equal partnership at home, but thanks to your scheming and manipulation, you have completely restored my faith in marriage. <laughs> Is so beautiful. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, is there anything else I can do for you? No, not really. You? Nah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number one, oh, talk Jimmy into getting a pedicure. Gross. I know. Sometimes when we spoon, it's more like a fork. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll do it. If you can talk Kim into quitting her book club. Oh, I, I don't know, Craig. Kim loves that book club. Yeah, but every Thursday night, that used to be my poker night. You know, you might not want to hear this, but you know, everything you're asking for seems a little selfish. Well, of course it's selfish. What do you think we're doing here, planning a fundraiser? 
I just want to get my doorbell fixed and not get stabbed by my husband's feet. I'm just trying to stay alive. What? <laughs> my wife keeps after her toes. I want to play cards. <laughs> How about I get Kim to let Soda back in the house? I can get Sammy to do that. Can't get Sammy to tell her that having sex three times a week is the key to a solid marriage. Three times a week, I'd have to cut back. Oh, please, you're forgetting how close together our houses are. Oh, God, can you hear us? Yeah, you begging and her snoring. Toenails for poker, that's my final offer. No, I'm not gonna do it, it's wrong. Well, it's a little too late for morality now. This is a dirty business, and don't kid yourself, sister. You're in just as deep as I am. No, 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 no. I am trying to make things better for my whole family, and you're just trying to make things better for yourself. Uh, at least I'm not a self-righteous hypocrite. No, you're a jerk. And you're full of crap. I am so done with this. You... Good luck sleeping with an Edward scissor feet. <laughs>
name, Sammy? That was me. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> See? You ask my opinion on everything and then completely ignore it and do whatever Christine says to do. That is not true. That is kind of true, Kim. Okay, maybe it's a little bit true. See, you're doing it right now! Hey, 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 hang on, everybody. Let's just, come on, let's just take a deep breath. Remember what's important, that I didn't do anything wrong. But you did. I mean, you both steamroll over us all the time. It's like you guys don't even hear us when we disagree with you. I'm supposed to apologize now? Well, that'd be nice. Oh, what do you think, Christine? Oh, my God. <laughs> I am doing it. Greg, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I really am. Christine, I'm sorry I do the same thing to you. Really, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, too. And, uh... I'm sorry to you, Kim. I mean, I was having a problem in my own marriage, and I was willing to screw you to solve it, and I was wrong. Well, I accept your apology. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to say. What's that, Greg? I am so glad this is all over. <laughs> <clears throat> what? Well, I just think that there's one more apology owed someone. Uh. Oh, God, Jimmy, fine. Fine. I apologize. Apology not accepted! <laughs>
Guess I should take these planks down, huh? Yeah. Sorry you had to waste all that wood. Huh. Yeah. What is that, teak? Yeah. Where the hell is my picnic table? <laughs> Where was I going to find wood planks at 3 in the morning? <laughs>